On today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Mattel Dark Knight Movie Master figures. We're looking today at the Clown Prince of Crime, the Joker, which includes a crime scene evidence of the Joker card. This was the first Joker figure released through the Movie Masters figure line. Unfortunately, it was also a very rare figure at the time, and a lot of scalpers, which you know my opinions of it, a lot of scalpers were going and snagging as many of these as possible. Unfortunately, with the passing of Heath Ledger, uh, these figures were running about $80 on eBay. Now, for anybody that would say, well, why would you open a figure you know, aren't, isn't there value in it? Uh, Joker is probably the best example here of a figure that while it's hot, the figure is extremely expensive and then through the process of saturation, other people picking up the figure or really just the figure's popularity decreasing, uh, next thing you know these are basically in dollar bins. So it, it almost sometimes pays to hold out uh, don't be one of those people going on eBay buying this figure for $80 and then now you could probably find this on eBay for about a dollar. Uh, probably explaining why Batman is so angry down below. I hate scalpers! <laughs> uh, but I do like the packaging. Again, it comes with a Joker card as the evidence. And on the back of the package we got a picture of Joker. So it's experienced the denizens of Gotham City in all their heroic or hideous glory with Movie Master figures. These highly detailed figures give you an up-close and personal look at the freakish makeup of the Joker and his Gotham City thug and Batman's suit all from the Dark Knight movie. And now the other figures you can get, there's a chase figure of an unmasked Batman. There's a Gotham City thug and then finally there is a Batman. All of course coming to us from the good folks at Mattel. However, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and we are going to have a better look at the Joker. There's more to come, guys. Stay tuned. Having a look at the crime scene evidence that comes with the Joker, we got ourselves a Joker card that I've already put in the evidence bag. Just take that out. On the one side, we've got the playing card surface. On the other side, we've got ourselves the Joker card. Looking really nice. I mean, that, that actually is one evidence bag that would be nice to put on display because you kind of got the Joker card. Just put that aside. Let's have a look at Joker here. And we'll zoom into his face. Oh, not too much. Um, it's not a bad face. I don't think it's a perfect Heath Ledger, um, you know, sculpt. I think some of the, uh, I think the later released Joker figure from Movie Masters was probably a little bit better. Um, but it's not all that bad. We got ourselves the Joker in the in his jacket going on there with the vest and tie. You can even see as well that he's got it, himself the chain going on there. Joker, of course, sporting pinstripe pants, purple, always. And you can even see that he's got an interior lining of his jacket. Uh, Joker does have a weapon. He does have a knife, a very small knife. You'll also see that the knife is attached to the Joker's hand via an elastic band. Um, I would say, unless you really have any intentions of putting something else in Joker's hand, I would probably just keep the elastic, uh, uh, keeping the uh, the blade in his hand. Because if you take that elastic off, uh, that knife is just not going to really sit in there. It probably will fall out, and you'll likely lose it. Um, I think there is. I think there's definitely potential in the face of the Joker, and uh, perhaps maybe uh, somebody who can customize, I think, could probably take this particular face and uh, elevate it to probably a really nice Joker face. I mean, it's not bad, but I think the paint could have been a lot better. The hair, the hair isn't bad though. I have to say, the hair isn't all that bad. Um, in the way of Joker's articulation, Joker's head does 
uh, sit on a ball joint. So you can fully rotate. I wouldn't advise it though, that would kill Joker. Maybe that's what we want, I don't know. Uh, his shoulder is on a pin and socket, which will allow the arms to move in and out and rotate all the way around. Uh, there is a bend in the elbow. There's also a rotation in the hand. Um, there appears to be no articulation in the waist or uh, in the upper torso, uh, but the legs do bend forward and back, out. There's a bend at the knee, a rotation in the thigh, and finally there's a hinge in the foot. Now, once again, for anybody that would say, not to open a figure. I think Joker is probably the best example that I can think of of a figure that was extremely big, extremely hot, and very hard to find, and therefore a lot of this. Um, but as the figure got more and more out there and more people were buying it, the value of the figure dropped considerably. Um, now I would say to anybody, I would say check out eBay, see what they're currently going for. You can see, definitely see the value of how these figures have dropped. Uh, also, a great pairing is to have the Joker here with Batman. I think if you were to have them on the display, this is probably the best way to have them. Um, and I would likely display Batman. Uh, the Batman Begins Batman with Joker, just really out of my own preference. Um, still, it's it's it, it's not a bad Joker, and I, I think it's definitely uh, I think it's definitely for what they did with it, it, it turned out to be a pretty solid figure. Um, I don't think the face the face could have been a little bit better. But all things considered, Joker's going to get a 6.5. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Mattel, the Dark Knight Movie Master figures. We're having a look today at the Joker. And I guess technically it's not really the Dark Knight, but the Movie Master figures, we're looking today at Joker. Want to know how I got my scar? Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know down below. Maybe you have picked up this figure, and how much maybe did you pick him up for? And uh, you know what? Give me a rating. Let me know what you guys think of this figure down below. Give me a rating out of 10. And in the meantime, I'm going to wrap this up here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.